Shout out to John Witherspoon. R.I.P. To the legend, to the goat. To the legend, man. To go, but to the to legend. To the legend, man. To the legend, man. So, we back in effect. You know, I'm King Riff. I'm Tim Kyle. What up? We'll get to our podcast. So, I was on a little vacation. I'm back. Not a little vacation. Yeah, I had a great vacation. You have to put this on pause real quick. Have to handle a personal matter. You know, you old guy. Mom, right? You old guy go on a little vacation. I recommend that for everybody. You know, at least two times if you can. At least whatever you can. You whatever know, you can. Once every year, every two years, whatever. So I went to Bali, man. Oh, 24-hour flight, man. Woo. Bro, how you Great, do great trip, but that, that flight. How you joke. do that flight, man? Because <laughs> within the first 30 minutes, I'm miserable. Nah, bro. You already know, bro. We, we took flights. Man. I mean, I do it with uh, patience, a lot of liquor. I watch a lot of movies. I watch mad movies on the plane, bro. But, like, for me, I when I take a nap, the most I could take, the longest flight, like, the longest flight I took was five hours to Puerto Rico. I believe. So it was like... That's an hour. It's five hours. Five, I think. So, um... I saw... The most I went to sleep for 30 minutes, man. My mom, and when I woke up, I said, yo, that's a good two, three hours. <laughs> look at my time. I was like, what the fuck? That's the worst thing. You have, if you're on a long flight, don't look at the clock, man. You think you, think you knocked out knocked that four hours real quick. So how you do it, bro? Because you went to Africa I mean, and you're now you in the air. You can't, you can't turn the shit around again. I know, start. but like, how, you know, I, bro, I, I go crazy. I did two long flights. My first long flight was to Kenya. The second one was to Bali in Indonesia. The, the one in Bali was longer. It's a long, it's long. Yeah, but the, going to Kenya, 19 hours. Going to Bali was 24 hours. I, I know. It's, 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 it's no trouble. Not now, stop. I mean, we, 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 we stop. We have a layover, bro. Niggas like, yo, I don't care what nobody say. Your bro stank when you took on the flight. Bro, that's how no, no, when you that's why you know <laughs> that nigga makes me wait. God, on, on, oh on, man, on a long flight to give you like gum, all oh, that no, shit no, no, don't matter. They, they give you toothbrush and all that stuff. So, you know, uh, go, go back, that's what I was about to say. Niggas bro be stinking, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta freshen up. You give me hot towels, you know. <laughs> You want me to the father? Come on. I said, the father. I mean, when, on this flight, I saw some weird shit. People, people are really crazy. Like, people can't sit down. What's your pet peeve on the flights, man? My pet peeve is a couple of them. I bet. When the plane lands, when the plane lands right? <laughs> Everybody run to get up, stand up real quick. Where we going? Relax. Yo, the door ain't open yet. I be wanting to be like, yo, sit your ass down. <laughs> Especially if you stand in front of me. Bro, we in the middle aisle. Why the fuck you up? That's ass in my face. Exactly. Like, yeah, fucking relax. Then you gotta take your luggage up top, my nigga. Bro, you in the you in, you don't window seat. I'm at the aisle seat, so I ain't gotta come out before you. Why are you standing up? <laughs> trying to go in front of me. It's a race to get out. I, don't know. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not gonna hold you. One day I'm gonna end up fighting, bro. I'm gonna, gonna be on I'm gonna be on Twitter or Instagram. Yo, look at this patient. You lost know, look at this you lost know, his patience, bro. Like I don't get it, man. I don't understand that. I had one chick on a plane to stand a man close to the, end, the emergency exit. I'm like, yo, I'm about to really close line this bitch. Like, why are you standing? You got scared? Nah, no, wait. Let's just stand, stand at the door. I should think right here. I should open it. I'll tell you, I'm about to be on some real it, superhero type shit. Like, I'm going to knock her out, B, and yeah, be a hero on the plane. Remember on the TV show, um, The Boys. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? All right, let me ask you this, bro. Um, shit, I was about to. I lost my training. Man, you lost training. I don't know. You bugged already, sir. I need a little rusty. Because my mom racing when it comes to this. Um, oh, this is what I was about to tell you. Remember, you was, I was going to return a flight somewhere. And the dude was sitting next to me. I had the window seat. And he kept on, like, leaning over me, recording the outside. I don't remember that. You remember that? You, how you don't remember that? It was an Indian dude, right? He kept, you was like, yo. No, um, excuse me. He was the Asian. And he kept on like leaning over me, recording like while we was landing. Like you know, I was like, who oh, was pushing from? me out the way? Like he's either he was Florida. coming back from Florida or like uh, Mexico, one of those. Yeah, brother, you don't remember that? Oh, yes. I bet when the plane coming back, when it's coming back to America, when the flight attendant was so excited, 
And there's a, there's a, one of the pastors asked, why are you so excited? Oh, my first time in America, my first time going to New York. And I'm so excited. I'm like, damn. I, I, felt, happy, I, I felt happy and sad for but New York City, yo, it's rough. You could come out here, get robbed, get played real quick. Bro, because it's like, yeah, I see, nice out here. We're I, not I nice. I see these people taking the train. I was like, oh, man, New York people are not nice. Yo, I'm so <laughs> nice. I used to stick up for us, but yo, nah, we just, we just busy now. Nah, we're not nice out here. You go to different I'm states. I'm trying to think. I'm trying, I'm trying to think, like, what to do. To me. The first time in New York. What, what would you tell like, me? Like, you know what I'm saying? What would I recommend? I don't know. I don't know. It's like, yo. And when you, we're from here, so I don't know. You're talking about a middle aged person, not somebody who's like, yo, yo, go to the spot. It's lit. Like, yo, yo, so you're like 45 or what? Yeah, middle age. 50s. So that was a couple years ago, like I said, like 15 years ago, right. they all go to the city, go to the city. And let's nah, say Brooklyn's lit. Let's anybody, say this. Anybody traveling to New York, that means you got money, period. Yeah, but New York City ain't cheap if you're going to come there so and hang like, out. Maybe, maybe they, they can afford shit that we can't. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> maybe they ain't into the Broadway and all that shit. I've been in New York my whole life. I've never been to Broadway. Yeah. Like, I think we, I ain't gonna front, bro. You see how we like, we over New York, blah, blah, blah. I think we take New York for granted. Yeah, I know we do. Cause when we go to like when we go to Florida, I'm like shit, bro. Like, eight eight p.m. lights out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like where, where I still live. You know I'm saying it's, so it's, it's like dry. Like, but I, like, so honestly, I'm gonna recommend. Yeah, you know, I wanna recommend come to New York on some vacation shit. I, I don't I'll be like, yo, go to go to LA or go to Miami. You know what I'm saying? Now, New York, it's, nah, you, you come out here, it kind of have a bad taste in your mouth. You get played out here hard. It's man. hard out, bro. Like you can get God. Period. God, respected. Like you, you come out there. I'm talking New York City, but the cities, man. Anywhere in New York, you can get God. It don't matter. It don't matter. And I'm not saying I'm not talking about some violent shit or some more like money shit. Like you, I mean, you, you, get you get scammed, man. You get scammed. You get scammed easy. You know what I'm so and one thing I hate, I hate when I see people traveling with maps. Like, bro, <laughs> but you have a phone. They, they they look at the map and they pull out their iPhone. Like, why the fuck is that, that shit. bro? Like, cut that out. You know what I'm saying? Like, so cut that out. So, like, like tell me the highlight of the trip. Like, what's your favorite part? Then, you know, well, you know, when I was out there, I got to see um monkeys, like, just chilling. On the, yeah, yeah, talk about in that. In their natural, the like, their natural, um, just chilling. Like, that was what, what, what was very interesting was that I saw a monkey. He's like, I kind of hunched over, like, sad. And I looked around. He was next to some, there's a cemetery out there, a monkey cemetery. So he just grieved. He was sad because he lost his yeah, thing on that's, that, that's his people's <laughs> and shit. So they all had, you know, they all had um, yeah, two stones. They could go to the jungle one time and it's. No, they had a cemetery for each other. So they, they um, you know, listen, let me tell you a story. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Fuck out of here, nigga. But listen, so. <laughs> so he's. He, 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 he was saying, he was saying. He was in mourning. He was in mourning. What? And oh my god! All right, so I'm trying to tell you a story. Right, 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 right. Right. Damn, oh, son. Right. So there's a couple of. I right, have one finish stories. Stop going. Niggas, niggas, don't try and king one time. Niggas, the monkeys in the monkey mourning. The monkey was hunched over. Like he was crying. It was a couple of great um tombstones. And I read it, it's like they keep the um, tombstone there for a week and then they dig them up again and they cremate them. So they all the dead monkeys going there. <laughs> oh my god. If you like four. Why, bro? I saw the monkeys are y'all the he Anyway, so I, the food the food's good out there. I, I stayed in um Ubud and Semiac and 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 Bali. I recommend anybody go out there. Um, People are super nice. it's real you chill. Go back? Definitely. I, I need to go back. Your money goes a long way, so like you know, for all one dollar is fourteen thousand for them. But don't get don't get twisted, like so like it's still cheap, it's still cheap, it's still cheap. It's still cheap. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, I know what you mean. Like you get a good ass meal for like for two with drinks and twenty five dollars easy. How much? Like twenty five dollars total. You know what I'm saying? Drinks, yeah, meal, and table yeah. table. Yeah, that's that's on my list. That's my that's I, Thailand. I love that. I had a personal pool. In, in, in my villa, I mean, it's so nice. You know what I mean, so I was in New York when I left. <laughs> it was cold. Um, you know, we got rain. At one point, it was snowing. 
Bro, it's fuck. It was snowing. Was it no, snowing? you was out here when it was snowing. Excuse me. So, you know, New York, you know, rain, cold, miserable. It's right in this shit. Crackheads. I ain't shit. Typical. I ain't missing nothing. I ain't seen not one crackhead or homeless. Bro, but you, where you was at? You have to tour us to track. No, not even. No, 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 no. The second part, yes. Samak, yes, is more tourist. But where I was is the first part. No, but it was for the wealthy. It wasn't for the. Listen poor, to what bro. I'm saying, bro. I drove through the regular spots. Bro, don't 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 disrespect them out there. They live good out there. They are, right, baby. They're good. What? 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 Are you there? <laughs> Here we go, son. Turn, you can't just, I ain't trying to turn up on a podcast. I mean, come on, son. Bye. Oh, did you get any like, money over there? Like, you didn't sure. come back with no bills? Yeah, I can't. I, 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 no, I got some money left over. So I didn't get no bill? Fortunately, the fortune. You about to go there? I'll collect. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck you. You know why I hate when people, like, when I'm on way, they be like, yo, give me this. Yeah, I, 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 I'm going to let everybody on the podcast. What do you ask your souvenir? Like, what do y'all want? Do y'all want a shot glass? I wasn't even me. Same time I go buy the M's off. I have a thing about that, right? So when we were on a cruise, it was a group, group trip, right? Yo, we got to get shot glasses. I said, bro, I'm not getting it. Just said, for what? I said, I can just get it on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same. Yeah, it's, it's the same, bro. It's the same. Bro. It's I'm the same. twisted. Come on. I collect everything with my memory. Bro. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's still like, like, my experience. My story is your souvenir. Unless I go to a real, like a real official place, not a tourist attraction place, a real official place and get something handmade. You know, you know what I'm saying? Then I don't, I'm not going to get no shot glass because it's like, yo, bro, oh, like, you change. look at the bottom and it's going to say made in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm in Jamaica. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come oh, on. Like, so Old chill. price beads and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not big on souvenir. I'm not. like. Oh, how about that, like, you know, the airport with the liquor? You doing duty free? Yeah. Like, no, see, the thing about Bali, they don't, they don't really have that much liquor, so they, a lot of things, everything they have in import, they don't really have that much local liquor. Did you have any, like, um, Local like beers? liquor. Don't yeah, they had a the local beer called um damn, Big Ben Ten. Was it good? The regular beer was it was okay, but they got one, a flavored lemon one. Amazing. Oh, they were called a Rattler. Oh man, it ain't that strong, but it it it, it, it was oh, man, tasty. I love it. So I recommend that. Yeah, okay. random thought. Just something just came to my mind real quick. So I was just thinking just now that. I can name probably 60 things I'd rather do than listen to Tupac music. That's just random. What the fuck? <laughs> no, go, go, go back to your trip, boy. Yo. <laughs> no, just the a fuck? random thought. That's occurred to my mind. I don't know why. But yeah, I can name like a cool 60 things right you're, now. You're that ass nigga. <laughs> Shout out to Gilly. Shout out to Gilly Wild. Come on, come on, come on. I got to speak my truth. Like, I just can name but where, where did that come from, bro? Like, that's what okay, I'm okay, okay. I don't know why I just thought of that, but you got to get something, you right? <laughs> I like to. I love Tupac. I know you do, but sure. Um, it's really awesome. That shit. So it was like your trip was cool, or wow. The rest of us was cold New York. Don't do that. Don't do that. Go ahead. Oh, Grammy, do Grammy New York. Don't do that. Shootings, killings, all this shit. I need a vacation, bro. Like you just came from one, bro. I came from one in August. All right. No, oh, like. I need nice. one, bro. I need one. You want one, too. We can have some. So it's like... But the thing is, like, I can't do flights, bro. I'm miserable on flights. You can't do a bus? <laughs> what? Come on. You already know our experience. <laughs> yeah, we ain't not talking you, about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, as you, if you're a fan of the show, you know our China bus experience. How long How long did the drive? 14? Nah, I'm bugging. Seven? Nah, probably it was longer. 18 hours, I think we do. You lying. Is that wrong? That's wrong, bro. Crackheads, scrapping, niggas smoking, uncomfortable. Like, it was just, it was just all time worse. I never felt more low down and dirty in my life. <laughs> I apologize for that because that was my doing. It's your fault. But anyway, what else got going on, man? Let's, let's get into music real quick, man, because, you know, this is a culture music podcast. This is a culture music podcast, so we gotta yes, touch on what's yes, the new album coming out. Dave East recently dropped his debut album, Survival. Debut again, the third debut. <laughs> the fuck. And I must say, that shit is two thumbs down. 
like I we always talk about equality, women rights, all of that. Why no one's why no one wanna admit young ma is better than Davies? Yeah, like, come on, like stop nice. it, bro. Young ma better than most of these rappers out here. Like real talk. Like like we wanna be real and she don't have half of the support that these niggas got. These major she's not signed to no major label. So like she's not gonna get these top productions. Or the top promotion. This is her. You know what I'm saying? Since she's doing good for herself. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? She got her own thing going on. And look at her. And like Davies, he disappointed me because I like Davies. I think he could rap. But bro, like, I don't know what was going on with that album. I didn't hear, I didn't hear it, but I, I don't care to. It's like, bro, I like Davies. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I feel like. He grew up. He he grew up in the same era as us. You know I'm saying the, the Dipset, Rockefeller, you know, Murdy, Rothfathers, all of that. So he understands, you know, what good music is, good good rap. He understands them. Yeah, you know, he the prom of rap. You know, rap was at all time high. What, 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 what do you think? What do you think is holding him back from being great? Bro, nothing. It's just him. You just don't got it, right? It's just like. Damn, I'm, I'm not gonna say that because look at what he got. So like he got, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? He he made it. He made it. He made it. So it's like, bro, I just I don't know, bro. Like I'm disappointed. Like I'm heartbroken. I don't know. I, don't know I just think when I listen to his music, I just don't get engaged too much. I don't know. What it is I think I don't know, man. Like. I don't know. Well, what album, you got a lot of shit, you know, acting shit going on, so he got it. When they got a new album that came out, I didn't get to it yet. Um, by Tory Lanez, the Chinks tape three, five, five. And and I, I didn't flip here. He flipped a lot of classics. So he, Every you know, is the whole tape is flipping. Have so, you heard it? No, nah, but I started track listening. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna check it out. Get back to it. But, but let me ask you this, right? So with him, Tiana Taylor, Kim Combs, that's Puffy son. They flip classics, right? But what's your song? What's your song? Yeah. Well, no, no. Tory Lanez got a song. He got his own thing. Everybody say Tory Lanez copy people. Landings so. came out and said, you copy me. <laughs> I, I didn't hear that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't go wrong with, for like, our early two, I mean, um, early 2000 hit. Because it's so so, so, so you think he's playing, um, playing it safe? Yeah, bro, like. Which, I'm not trying to take nothing away from him because I'm sure it's, it, I'm sure the mixtape fire, but it's like of course it's gonna be fire. You flipping, you flipping, Chris Brown take you down. You flipping, trade it all by Fab and Jagged Edge. You flipping, foolish by Ashanti. Bro, them shits is still fresh in our minds. Not fresh in our minds, but it's like yo, this shit is fire. I think that was a good homage to these things. he do this a lot. What's your song? Nobody gonna flip your sound because you what's your sound? That's what I'm saying. What's your legacy? Same thing with Tiana Taylor, bro. Like she she flipped that Mace. Um the song what's Mace in total song? Whatever that song called, right? Her and Puffy Song flipped it. Uh, Puffy oh, Song flipped nothing about nineties. His his, his see, father's song. See, I think I just think he loves it, so he's in like, you know, Bro, but you gotta create your own legacy. Create your own greatness. Well, it's still young. It's still young. They have a chance to do no, it. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Chill, bro. That's that's cheating to me. That's I, I love it. I play it safe. You know what I mean? Like, okay. You don't mind it? No, I don't say I don't mind or not. I'm just saying they're playing it safe. Bro, I mind it. I'm <laughs> sorry, bro. Like, I can't, bro. Like, I like originality, bro. Like, you gotta be original. That's the word. What, originality? Yeah, it's, it's a... <laughs> it, Google's. <laughs> originality, yeah, it's a word, right? Yeah, so it's like... I ain't afraid I'm tired of music right now. <laughs> Too much? So, and, and, and I was riding the train, right, from, from Manhattan to Brooklyn. Upper West Side to the last stop on the two train. Right? <clears throat> no music, bro. That's weird. You know how weird you gotta be to play no music? Cause I had, bro, I'm tired of music. What is it like? 
Like, yeah, you, maybe maybe you gotta try different genres. You know, you play the same. I comedy. can't. You know, you play the solo jazz. Oh, right. So, <laughs> I would joke in my group chat, right? <laughs> All right, yo, don't judge us. Don't judge me. So one of my mans, uh, I'm not gonna say his name. He be sending. The porn TV to watch it, right? What? Listen, I listen. Wish, so they, they, where I'm getting to, right? So he be sending the porns that he be watching, right? It would be like Asian, Indians, and white, right? Yeah. Like, bro. And meanwhile, the man's like, bro, don't send us that shit. It's like, you got to send us shit that, that, that look like us. So, yeah. so when you say other genre of music, like, I, I can't, I can't relate. You know what I'm saying? I tried, but so what the fuck music personal for me. So, so what the fuck is the porn shit for? Because it's like, I was like, yo, bro, I like, if I'm out your porn, I like it how I like my music. Brown. Nigga, <laughs> 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 that's funny as fuck. I don't care what you say. That's a nice punchline. You ruined my joke. But that's a I, nice I, I was trying to figure out both. <laughs> but that's not nice? Oh, Give I, it up. Nah, what? Nah, but give it up. Like, that was a nice, like, Punching on it. If I was a comedian, really? I'd like, nah, right, bro, look, I can't listen. I got it. I only listen to R and B and hip hop. I think it's it up, man. Like, like now that you this is mad, this mad R and B you don't want to play, the rap you don't want to play, bro. You know I listen to like I'm a, I go deep to the '60s R and B. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, son. You already know my body. Stop playing with me. Yeah. Before I get mad, out. <laughs> Flips on fucking tables. You know my body. Yeah. So it's I like, don't. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Yo, you know. You know I put you on to shit. I was just telling you about the Tom, Jungle Love, The Bird, oh, all gosh. of that. Morris Day. You don't know nothing about I that. I didn't know all that. Just, what what you fuck? know about that? God. But like I was saying, bro, like, I'm tired of music. It's like, title, we have title, right? Title, right? What I say about Tidal, it forced me to listen to new music. Like, you know, I don't listen to new music like that, but Tidal, since I have Tidal, like, I've been open. And it's like, it's, I, I can't, bro. Like, it's nothing out. Like, Summer Walker, I got tired of Summer Walker. I, I just think, yeah. Just, What's your eye? Like, like, can we talk about Summer Walker real quick? Go ahead. Summer Walker, right? She, she, she's suffering from social anxiety. Yes. Right, so she canceled her tour, the the remaining dates of her tour because she's going through it. She, you know, she can't deal with the crowds. I'm assuming the meet and greet, all of that, because you can't can't sit too close to her. You can't talk to her. Can't touch her. Take mm-hmm. your picture and move on. That's it. That's the rules. Yeah. Right. So as an artist, right, if you know you battling through that. Why become a musician? Why why pursue this dream? I don't know. Like I just think that me to me that's like a like somebody want to be a surgeon, but they scared of blood. They get woozy when they see blood. I mean, like the art of it. That's it. Like the art, the art part. That's it. So why are you on social media? Oh, sh- twerking your ass, shaking your ass. Business, bro. It's a business, business at the end of the day. Bro, it makes no sense. All right, so I saw a video of her, right? She brought, she brought out Usher, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is the funniest video I've ever seen in my life. Usher's a professional. Come out, he do his part singing, performing. Yeah. She's in the back, right? And there's a duet. She, she stands in the back. So, you know, he looking at her like, yo, come up. <laughs> because it's a duet. So he moves in the back with her. She's wave at him. Like, just a wave so awkward. He's like, what the fuck she's doing? And it's like, no, like, she didn't move. She didn't move. Then, like, two days later, that's when she canceled her tour. What's the canceled her tour? She canceled her remaining dates on tour. People can get their money back. So, as a fan, like, if you're a super fan of her, would you understand what she's going through and still support her? Or do I, I, I think you still support. I think you still support her. I don't want to see she, you. She can't help. Yeah, yeah, she can't do it. Like, but I feel like you slapping my face when you post all these videos. You shaking your ass, twerking. That's she's doing that right now. If you look like after she, now I'm canceling my dude. 
But you do all of this. You do all of this for what, though? <laughs> See, like, I just think she's into her art, man. And some people just. I don't... think she need guidance. Yeah, but she, but she must really have my, she must really have associated with any problems. Bro, and, and, fuck all that shit. <laughs> Say your ass at home. Chill, bro. Bro, if you if you if you're entertaining, bro, you got an entertaining period. Yo, that's your job. Yeah, I know. I know. It's fucked up. You paid a ticket. You know what I mean. That's but, your job. What, what she did was what she did was smart. What she canceled tour. You know she can't do it. So she has to do it. But what she did was smart. What she canceled tour. You know she can't do it. So she has to do it. But what she did was smart. What she canceled tour. You know she can't do it. So she has to do it. But what she did was smart. What she I never heard of that though. An entertainer who went that far and then be like, "Nah, I'm good." Yeah, for a job. Wow. Norm, uh, Norm Hill broke out because she couldn't stand the industry, and she really broke out. We didn't see her or hear her for years. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, you didn't hear her, see Lauren Hill for years. You're not gonna see that when uh, Summer Walker. So it, it, I don't get it, bro. I, I understand that whole anxiety thing. I understand it. You know what I'm saying? But still, it, it makes no sense to me. That's like a, a well, doctor, no, 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 a no, surgeon no, was no, like, no, ah, blood! No, 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 but I'm not going to say it. It doesn't make sense to me. But I, don't, I don't go through it. So you know what I mean? I can't pass judgment on it. I don't know. Uh, I can't talk about that. I mean, if you see my face right now, what face I'm making right now? Yeah, but bro, I'm telling you. The camera face. Like, it could be something like, crowds don't give anxiety. I get it, bro. I get it. I get it. Trust me. I understand what you're talking about. But she she done tours, she done shows, she she she's popping bro. Like she got this far. What I think it was, she said, "Yo, this shit's hard." And not for everybody, bro. But I think she's blaming it on the anxiety. I shouldn't think she's using it as a cop uh, a cop out. I still have her just now, just now. You just trash. You can't perform. <laughs> because it's flavor. She can't perform. She can't perform. Well, I don't think it's that serious. It is what it is. All I'm saying is, uh, Shorty, you fooled your fans. <laughs> well, I need you to leave in the comment section. Do you think some walker is, does she really suffer from social anxiety or is she just using it as a cop out? I don't want to get too personal, but I dealt with somebody with anxiety, yeah. like real deep anxiety. Um, hmm. Everybody had to go different, bro. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? We're going to end the show off right here. <laughs> this nigga's not. Nah, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's go off right here. I mean, as always, I'm King Riff. I'm King Kyle. Serious K. I'm at your boy. I'm okay. Gay. Woo! Now I'm, podcast. I'm serious Kyle. King K. I'm at your boy every day. Uh, oh, baby. What the fuck? Kiss on the pop. Yo, all right. <laughs> We we definitely gotta leave now. Alright, later, y'all.